Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our campaign as Sparta in Rome Total Realism Imperium Surrectum. And I cannot wait. This is going to be so fun. It's already been quite a hard challenge, but very fun as well. Um, last episode, we went after Athens, and we couldn't quite get there so we came over to crete to gortina and fought a series of battles against the athenians and the rhodians and now it is time to finally break the back of the foolish rhodians i mean i think you should go in there and you should get in here and then we shall use this army to attack them. They look like they have a pretty decent army. I mean, they've got three generals at least right now, which is pretty strong. Seven command for that guy. But Arius of Sparta has eight, which is awesome, which is really, really good. You, Demidas, has four. And I don't know how because of his incompetent commander and weakling traits, which are not great. So I, I'm i tempted to even leave him out of this battle, but we can't afford to. We need that capacity to beat their generals as well. And they ran away. We might... Uh, are we going to leave him behind? Oh, we can't even get there. That is not great. They might escape then. If they escape, we will go straight for Rhodes. But the first thing is we need to get some of these guys retrained as quick as we can. Hmm... Who do we want retrained? Well, we basically want everyone retrained, apart from the mercenaries. So we might even send them across to get retrained now. Um, if they will get there. It's just some of these troops, uh, as you can see. I think we wait a turn then. One turn is not going to be a problem. So let's click that end turn, guys, and see what happens. Look how stunning the map looks at night, though. Look at this. It is stunning, isn't it? Well, let's click the end turn and see what happens, boys. Ah, we are down at Carthage. I could do with a nice alliance with someone right now, so Carthage would probably be a good idea. They're close enough to be able to make a difference, but far enough away that we won't come into contact with them. So, getting an alliance and maybe some trade rights would be awesome. And the free peoples have moved. Uh, I, I still don't know why there are two free peoples, but I'm uh, not exactly sure. Superior Commandment, Drillmaster, and Oligarch. This guy is great. Where are you going to end up, though? Oh, he ended up over here. He's going to lead our secondary armies, I guess. But first things first, let's uh, get you guys forward. We'll bring... The new general in. And he's probably going to die straight away, isn't he, guys? <laughs> knowing knowing because these guys cannot escape. So that is one great thing for us. And look how damaged their units are. I mean, we have damaged units as well. But clearly nowhere near as damaged as some of these. Three. That Podromoy is still going to be very annoying to deal with, though, when we only have one cavalry unit. Uh, they have three general cavalries, which... As we've, as we've seen so far, have been very strong. But the third battle for Crete, guys. The third battle for Crete. Let us go. I cannot wait. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I certainly have. This mod is unbelievable. It is so good. It is so very good indeed. And they've just actually released a load of new unit textures, which I cannot wait to see on the battlefield because they look stunning genuinely stunning with huge variation in the units so like for example this unit here on screen all their shields would be different colors they'd have different color robes and um, they'd have different you know sort of breastplate designs all that sort of thing and that is brilliant that is very nice to see indeed and i cannot wait to uh, see that even more going through this campaign as the mod gets updated yes um Obviously, it's a it's a brand new save game I've, I've loaded in, so it's going to take a little bit longer for the battle to come on. But I will see you on the battlefield, guys. Now trouble begins. We did not seek war, but we are facing battle and we will not stop until our dead foes fill the field. 
Whee! Fantastic. They really should have moved their boats next to their troops before they took this battle. Um, because they're going to get screwed now. They're going to get fully, fully destroyed. Oh my god, look at this guy. Mausolos, he looks kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> looks very crazy indeed. Let's organize these boys. And the rest of you are my infantry, aren't you? I, a lot of you are very damaged, unfortunately. We will keep generals on either flank to deal with the cavalry. We will get the skirmishers out behind and the archers out behind them. I'm tempted to skirmish with them for a while. Because we have archer supremacy. So here we go, boys. Here we go. Another battle. Cannot wait. Although, something that I've noticed very quickly with all my campaigns in the game is that people actually prefer the campaign management to the battles. And I always thought that was just me. <laughs> so... If you're one of those stands, if you're one of the campaign management stands, please leave a like down below. <laughs> leave a comment saying that you are one as well. But I I honestly have always preferred it like that and prefer the campaign management side to the battles. But I always thought that was a bit weird and that most Total War players would not. But apparently I'm wrong. So they have Piss Pissy Loy, as we know. Here comes a general. Who are you? Oh, that's a Podromoy. The generals are small units. That's one decent thing. He's going to run into a hail of Javis, which is uh, interesting for him. He wants to run into the Swordman, which is a decent idea for him. Oh, my God. Like, you can see how fast these guys run. Get in there, boys. Who is that? The Roperoy. You guys get in there because you can't fire your thingies. Rodian Hoplites, let's go. You guys out here. Where are the archers firing? That's what I want to know. Fire on those Greek archers. Yes, we killed that one general. So, you guys get through here and we'll deal with the Thropperoi. You guys get through as well. You two are going to go and try and deal with some of that cavalry. That blasted cavalry. He's running. Oh, he's no, He's running away. Fire those jabbies, boys. Hopefully that kills him. Rodian Hoplites here. You guys get there. General. Oof. That was a bit of a misstep by me. That's one of the generals dead. Oh, my God. This unit. This poor unit. Oh, God. It's just him there, isn't it? Where's my Greek general gone on this side? Oh, they, they need to get up here and deal with that cavalry as quick as possible. You boys get in there. You boys there. That's another general that's running. Everyone runs into the cavalry, please, boys. And we will use our own cavalry. I think we just need to break these boys. Right, you can get into the back of there. Would be ideal. Surround him. To kill the pissy loy, the prodrum roy, sorry. Come on, boys. I know you're going to get tired of all this running, but we need to be brutal. Brutally quick. I really don't want Arrayus to die. That's a big problem if Arrayus dies. But I think we just need to route them, don't we? I don't think, I don't think they can escape, so routing them will be the option in the end. Right, cavalry, let's bring you up. You can finally be of use. Look how quick they run. They run actually really quickly for wearing all this armor. Yeah, we'll keep these boys going after the cav. Where are you going? You crazy, crazy bastard. Let's get into the pissy light. Same with you boys, if you can. So I don't think we've killed all those generals. Oh, look how quick we go. We're a beast. We are very fit, aren't we? I mean, we are Spartans. Um, right, run those guys off the battlefield. And then... The rest of you boys can probably come back. Same with you boys. Get you here, and then we should shoot at the Podromoi. If we can. 
The rest of you boys still have a lot of ammo because there was very little army to actually contend with. So you guys just go there. No, nope, here they come. They've gone for it. They have gone for it. And as we've seen, cavalry is extremely strong. I mean, it's extremely strong in every Total War game. So there we are. Right, let's end the battle there and hope that they are fully dead. About equivalent casualties. So, yeah, no one really doing that well. The Crypt here, 44, is pretty decent. Cretan Archers, 30. Well done. But yeah, no one doing particularly amazing. But that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We just wanted to get rid of them. And now we can go and retrain everyone. Everyone, apart from the mercenaries. And, uh, yeah. Get on to Rhodes. Go kill Rhodes. That might put us to war with some Anatolians, but I think after that we go for Athens. That's that's the plan anyway. Going straight for Athens after this. As long as we have a big army. Um, and I think we will do. Athens looks like it's taken a bit of a battering, or they have an army somewhere else. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I did get confirmation on the Discord that I don't think that Athens gets a big garrison when you siege them down. I think they get a little one, but not a large one. So that is good for us. That is very good for us. And uh, we are making a lot of money at the minute. So we just need to keep our troop training and all that sort of thing up. And we should be good. We should be golden. Golden. Yes. That is the, uh, that is the word I'm going to use there. We should be golden. <laughs> golden Sparta, boys. Golden Sparta. Come on, guys. Let us end this loading screen and let's get on. Yeah. We cannot wait to kill these guys. Kill Athens. Athens are our big rival. And then we need to take a few more territories around Greece before I think we can contend with the Antigonids. They're still going to be a big problem. Right. Out of all you guys... We'll send Mouse. I uh, will send the faction leader home because we don't need him over here. He needs to be in Sparta, and then we'll send everyone we can retrain. So Helot archers, Helot javelin men, not the mercenaries. Well, we can probably do this, can't we? And then just add those guys in, and I'll send Arius as well, just to keep him safe. Does the glitch still work on the mod? Yes, it does, actually. Get the boys off. No, not quite. That's a slightly annoying. Well, actually, we can probably get all of these boys off, right? No, not quite. I've glitched out too much, <laughs> unfortunately. But in Sparta, we did get one of these Helot Javelin men just to keep the peace in the city. But we need our general back there as well, don't we? Right, you boys can get back in Gortina. Who are you? Cassilis of Athens. You're going to try and bribe us again, you fool. Please do not. And we need to speak to Carthage, if we can. Hello. Alliance, trade rights, and map information. Okay, maybe just trade rights then. Yes. Map for map, maybe? No, demanding. I mean, yes, we'll do that and then cancel it. Yep, there we are. Sorry, boys. I oh, know I need to actually uh, do it. We're not giving you 2,000 a turn, bro. You really think we would? That is the rug pull. That is the Rome Total War rug pull, guys, in full effect. Transgression against Carthage. Oh, yeah, because uh, we, did, we did the rug pull on them. Well, I'm sorry, Carthage, but you deserved it, okay? Did we talk to these guys when we were going past? I don't think we did. So let's go back and talk to them. Right, let us end the turn again, guys, and see what happens. Hmm, what are the Antigonids doing? They want military access. I'm willing to give them that, knowing that they probably will honor our honor our land. Uh, but why do they need it? Our thanks. Okay. Our relationship is only five. That is not great. <laughs> I don't know why they need military access, though. What do they need it for? Like, they don't need to walk through my land. Hmm. That is a slight little bit scary. <laughs> Only a little bit. It's just the Antigonids who are the biggest power in the region. <laughs> so, not too scary. 
Just a hugely little bit scary. <laughs> oh, hello, Rhodes. If they siege us down, I'm honestly not bothered. Right. Retrain everyone here. If we can. Uh, we re can't retrain the javelin men. But we can send them afterwards. Is there anyone... Like these two. 97. 97. Merge. 123. So 71 and 55 will work as well. So now the retraining is slightly easier. Retrain you. And can we get... I'd probably like to get another cavalry. Although this Spartan cavalry is very, very bad. <laughs> it's not good. As we have seen. It is not a good cavalry unit. Aegeon. We can recruit in Aegeon as well. I think we might go for sewers. Hmm. I think we go for sewers over here. Don't have a huge amount of money after all that retraining. And we're going to even have even less after, after this. Megalopolis. What do we want to build? Yeah, nothing quite yet. Close to being able to upgrade. And 1% a turn. So you only get, you only get about 18 people a turn. Because of the very high tax rate. I kind of want to keep it on very high though. If we do this, it might balance it out. So, let's go down to normal. They're very happy on normal. And the same thing. I think we can afford to reduce some of these down to normal actually. Just for that population growth. I think the population growth is slightly more important right now to try and grow some of these places. Because they're very small. We lost about a thousand doing that, and we'll see what happens once we've retrained all these boys. See whether we need to keep that on. Very high to keep positive. Look at the uh, uh, who are these guys? The Orcomenos, the Boeotian League. I thought it was them. Look at this army, bro. It's pretty big. I'd like to do a draw out battle there. Look at that. That'd be perfect. Same with the Aetolian League. If we could. Take out Athens and these two. And maybe the Kingdom of Epiros as well. We'll be in a very nice position. Very nice position to take on um, the Antigonids. So guys, let... Are we building over here? Yes, we are. Let us build. Uh, end our turn again. Go on, diplomat. You can do it, my friend. You can do it. Hmm, there's so many factions. It is fantastic. I love this mod, boys. I know I've said it a million times. It's a drinking challenge. Every time I say that I love the mod, uh, take a drink. <laughs> the Red Dog Drinking Challenge. And when I say, uh, see you on the next video, that's downing a pint. So, the Avarici. Aravarki. Yep, trade rights. Go for map for map. Although we don't like the barbarians. Oh, they took that as well. I'm not sure about an alliance though. I don't think that would be particularly helpful. They've got a decent swath of territory though. Well done boys. You're doing quite well. I'd like to go and talk to the Namidians. But we can't actually get across, can we? Oh, we can. There's a land bridge. Fantastic. Let's do it. Seleucids and Adresians are allies. That's kind of scary because if we declare war on the Adresians, we will be pummeled by the Seleucids. <laughs> Genuinely pummeled. I could go for an Odeon here. I could go for a City Barracks. And honestly, I think that's the best idea. Argos. What should we buy from Argos today, boys? Let us buy... I mean, the trader at this level of settlement is really not that important. But it's actually better now. It makes a positive. So we will go for that. Right then, the troops. I don't know why Rhodes has just stood there. Ah, uh, we have lost all our Spartan homoioi. So Areus, minus you and minus you. Ah, uh, we can't retrain the healer archers, can we not? Hmm. Interesting. Is there anywhere we can train them? No. So we'll leave leave these three behind. You, you, and you. We don't need you. You are worthless to us. You are not terribly important to us. Oh no. That's that's a glitch that happens with the game all the time. Um, right. Let's uh, 
Go to navies. You should be on the boats, right? No. There we are. That's better. Right. Let us go fight this battle. Oh, we didn't retrain you. I thought we could train. Oh, no. We can only train you far away. That's okay. What army? Why do you keep sending shite armies at me? Zistoroifoi. They're decent. Rhodian Hoplites are actually very nice. And Greek archers. Hmm. Well, let's get the army ready to go. Let's get you guys out there. And let's go. No, come on. We can't reach them again. Oh, he's doing it again. Just stand uh, about there. You should be able to get on now. Let's see. There we are. And we'll get you back to Sparta, my friend. That is where you deserve to be. Governing because you are a coward and weak. Uh, no, we'll come back across here. Ah, well, can we train anyone here? It'd be nice once that's done to see whether we could train anything. Even if we sent, like, this across, maybe? Well, we'll do that next turn. Do that next turn. Actually, you should go back. Oh, I'm moving troops around everywhere right now because you can retrain. Right, let's end the turn, boys. Look at those stars alongside Areus. What a beastly man. What a beautiful, beautiful human being. What a warrior. A Spartan total warrior. Eh? Isn't that a good game? Oh, hello, Rhodes. <laughs> Why didn't you just take the city, Rhodes? Like, you could have just taken the city. <laughs> what dumbos. But now they've left us, like, being able to take out both of their armies independently. Why? Well, let's fight this. They've got two of the Zistaforoi. So we'll just use the same tactic again. And I think we'll keep the uh, Hoplite units in a very fat and thick formation. To just deal with that, those cavalry charges. Because they are devastating. Very devastating indeed. Hmm. Look at these shields. That's cool. I like the designs. As I say, I love the designs in this game. They are excellent. Helms look amazing. Why? So, is this actually historically accurate? They wouldn't actually have those helms over their face, would they not? Or would they just march with them up like that? I, I, I'm not sure. Looks cool though. Looks very cool. I guess no one really knows. No one was around then that's alive today. <laughs> but, yes. Yes! Let us go, boys. Um, you get over there, you get over there, we've got lots of javelins, and we've got cavalry boys, we've got cavalry, I think a very thick formation, thick for the boys, thick formation for the boys, let's go, and I think once again we skirmish with them, as long as we can, why do you always keep reverting to that? My own cavalry, which is no match for their cavalry, shall cover that flank. And my generals this flank. I love this music. Very cool. Ah, uh, there they are. I like the fact that in the mod, the units don't just stand in a corner. Because that is quite annoying. Like, in actual, like, the just vanilla remaster. A lot of the time, you'll open up a battle and they'll just be stood in a corner. Because it's slightly higher than somewhere else or whatever. think there and we'll be we in re range not quite so forward then boys all of you guys we want you on guard mode to get that nice phalanxiole formation if that makes sense <laughs> completely no words i've just made up right boys get firing away Shooting whoever you want. All these targets are worthy targets. It looks like they're shooting at the Hoplites, but they're very heavily armoured. 
Shoot at the Zista for it. I think they can do more damage. Uh, there's no one we need to look at, is there, that we haven't really looked at before. I think we looked at these guys last time, the Spartan Hoplita, uh, Spartan Cavalry. And you can see they do not have much armor on at all. They're basically just wearing robes. So now they're shooting their archers. They have no javelins, so... Let's go... Well, maybe just speed it up. Are they withdrawing? Where are you going, bro? Ah! Uh, how annoying! I mean, we can probably break the uh, archers, but probably not the hoplites. Let's charge them in the back. That's not the person I told you to charge. Ah, that's right on the edge. Can't even see the edge. Hmm. Well, I thought they were in a position where they couldn't escape. So, I don't know about that. We'll probably have to fight them straight away again in a place where they can't escape. Which, ah, uh, slightly annoying. It just means reloading in another battle and reloading out another battle, which... Takes a little bit of time, as you can see. But, how annoying. Maybe we should have gone in a bit sooner, but, oh well. Well, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Um, so, I don't know where they went. This is where it loaded into. Did they completely die and disappear? But, I thought they wouldn't be able to withdraw if they did that. There's no ships, as you can see. So, they didn't escape to a ship. Unless they're on here. Oh, they're on here. They escaped to here. How did you escape, bro? From my clutches. My evil clutches. Oh, that is all they have. We could auto-resolve. Because that is a very quick battle. There's not really much point in fighting it. 108 casualties it gave us, though. Well, we need to stick... You guys back in here and hope that they come out to deal with us. Oh, we did get some construction done. So let's have a look at that. Not making as much money anymore, are we, guys? Gortina. Let's go for the... We could go for the barracks. I think we do. Just to see whether we can retrain anyone there. Um, and shrines over here. Law, which I don't think we have any corruption. No corruption at all. How is the, the culture doing? It's all Greek. Yeah. I can't see it being anything other than Greek, surely. Yeah, they're all fully Greek. So we're going to be in a very nice situation for very long. Right, let us end the turn then, guys. Unless we have anything. Oh, pirates blocking us off again. Fools. Fools! Why would you do such a thing to us? Oh, looks like Carthage and... Uh, Arvechi are fighting. Very nice to see. Bit of battles. Barbarians versus Hellenic peoples. Ptolemaic peoples. Very nice. Very nice. Let us go. Let's go talk to like Numidia. We did manage to get map information from Carthage. So we can see that that is the Masili. Ooh. Isn't that you? That's you. Why do you have that land? But let's go out the back here. I think there's a settlement around there. Uh, but Massalia, what are you doing? Why are you being crazy? Oh, the pirates have gone now. So, guys, I think we have enough to go and take roads. And I want to leave behind one trash unit. Well, you are only 16. So how unhappy are you now? You're still very happy because of our... Religion and everything. Oh, it's done. Why does it keep glitching out like this? And I'm hoping we can get to Rhodes in one go. Yes, we can. Oh, they ran. I don't think if we attack them here, they'll be able. They'll be called. They'll call in the people in the city, but. Okay, at least we can siege down the city and stop them getting back in. 
Um, we'll go for ladders and a couple of rams, maybe a siege tower. A ram and a siege tower. Probably the siege tower will not reach. It will probably burn, same as the ram. Seem to burn very quickly. Argos, we took the trader. Decent. We could go for the market. Or we could go for paved roads. I think paved roads would be a better idea. 165 for the paved roads. And only 55 extra from the market. Could also go for this. Hmm. I mean, we need to make this area a recruitment hub. And Argos is a large town. So that is a good option going for that. Now, in terms of building elsewhere... Megalopolis and Aegeon. There's not really anything we want to build there. The temples are not that useful to us right now. So I don't really want to waste money on them because they are re uh, income reducing buildings. Oh, hello, uh, Egypt. The Ptolemaic Empire. Oh, God. Right. Let us end the turn, boys. And see what happens. See where the roads decide to attack us. I believe this will be the death of roads. If we take it. They might even attack us. Just a last ditch attempt. Isn't that a glorious sight to see guys. A Sparta full banner army. Oh you're going to try bribe are you or. No. I mean I'm willing to talk. If you give us like. 20,000. Because I can do a lot with 20,000. 5,000. Um, I mean, we can do this and then just break the truce. We are Spartans, guys. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Stop trying to wang wrangle me. Haggling. I'm haggling with the Rhodians. 8,750 is the highest they'll go. Well, I mean, I'm happy to accept this and then just attack them. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> the poor fools. <laughs> we have just wrangled 8,000 8, gold off them. Ah, oh, look at the uh, Boeotian League going ham. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I said about the ceasefire? I meant for six months and that's it. So our reputation will be reduced quite considerably now. Uh, so Armenia and Pontus are at war. No surprise there. Carthage and Syracuse. Okay, no surprise there either. Bactria and the Seleucids have broken their alliances. Uh, Bactria and the Parthians. That is a good move for Bactria. Rhodes and others have declared a ceasefire, but we're now at war. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Gortina. Go for militia barracks. What can we recruit now? We can recruit the uh, Cryptea, which is actually a very decent unit as a starter spearman, I, I would say. Very strong for a starter spearman unit. Over here, we should be able to recruit some very nice troops soon. One more turn to go. Right then, guys, let us end the turn after stabbing in the back the poor <laughs> Rhodians who just wanted peace. Now we have a huge amount of money, but we, we do have to be careful how we use that money in this mod. Very careful indeed. We can't just spend it willy-nilly willy on things that are not going to be useful to us now or later on. Um, like the, like the, settle, like the uh, temples, they will be useful to us in a little bit. But right now, there's no point buying them because they are income reducing, as we say. And we need to get our income production up as much as possible. Stoic philosophy, right. Armenia and Sarakis are now at war. And Syracuse and Carthage have already signed a ceasefire. That didn't last long, did it? One turn, bro. One turn. I mean, it's almost as bad as us, eh? <laughs> Do we go for the archery range now? I think we go for the shipwright while we have the money. Um, and it won't say we make that much money, but... It adds another trade fleet, so so let's work this out. 382 plus 150, 482, 530. So it's saying that it will be become 530, but we need to check that in three turns just to make sure that it, it's right. So over here, we've got the skidder tie now as an option. We need to get above minor city as quick as possible. So I'd like some... 
I really, really would like some options here for population growth, but we don't have any apart from this. But that's extra trade income bonus of 20% de decrease is really bad. Not good for us. Not ideal for us, is it? But we can get mines in Argos as well. This land is really rich. Right, while we're here, get paved roads over there. Megalopolis. I, yeah, there's nothing really there that's that's worth building. Right then, guys. Let's go for roads. They do have those reinforcements, as we can see. Rhodian Epibates. Heavy infantry. Looking pretty strong. Creek archers and Theroporoi. But he only has these guys in the city. So we're going to send our javelin men up. The Helot javelin men first. And the mercenary ones on the ladders in the siege tower. To see whether they can get on the walls and stop those towers firing at us. And then we shall destroy his damn foolish army. We could even probably lock them out if we got our troops the whole way around the settlement. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would really be awesome. It's the tried and true tested technique of ladders to the walls and running around taking all the towers. That is that is the tried and true Rome Total War siege technique, guys. <laughs> as long as you can get on the walls, that's the most important thing. If they have infantry on the walls stopping you, you need to distract those infantry with a unit and then get your archers or your javelin men on the walls running around taking the rest of the towers and the gates. That is the best option for us. I don't think, with two units, I can't see him having people on the walls. I think those other army will come from behind us as well. So he might be able to just destroy that, which would be great. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and destroy that as quick as we can. If it is coming from behind us. I think it's back right. Potentially the right hand side. So we'll set up around that way. And hopefully block them from entry. Which will be great. Let's listen. Yes, sons of Achilles, let us go. Wow, it's big. Rhodes is big. Is it a minor city? And look, the Colossus. Oh, the, look at the Colossus. That looks awesome. So that's going to be our second monument, which is really cool. Right then, get you all around here. You are not the people I want to be manning the siege equipment. I'm sorry. We want these helots. Saying helot, helot, or I, is it helot? I think it's helot. Sounds almost like a, like a, like a slur. I don't know. Like, to me, it sounds like a slur, even though I know it's not. You helot. Right, you can go there. You can go there, you can go there, and you can go here. There's no way they're, they're defending that wall. General, uh, archers, we want you to get on the walls as soon as possible as well. And the rest of you are going to be ready to receive that second army. I don't know where it's coming. Oh, there it is. Get there, boys. Go, go, go. Let's get there. You guys, let's get you up. Away from that other army. To the walls, boys! And they definitely don't have anyone on the walls. They do have a very large Greek general unit, though. And, of course... Nope, get out of there, Cav. We don't want you to get charged by Hoplites. Or Rhodian Ephibates. Let's have a... Ah, sorry. Let's have a look what they... Let's just pause for a second, because it goes a bit... It's squiffy when you look at the units. Wow, 16 morale, 15 melee attack, and 38 defense. That is very decent. Let's get you there then, and we will get the cavalry around to charge you in the back. Get rid of that Theroporoi, boys. You guys up. Right, cavalry into the arse. You can get into them. 
you guys actually get round the side. See how this cavalry does. They lost a lot of men on the charge. Yeah, they're, they're just trash. They're really trash. Look how many they're losing on the charge. They're losing more than they're killing. And they're charging them in the back. That's kind of shocking to me. You guys go deal with those guys. Where's my general? You guys get here. Ah, uh, we need to stop this. Making it lag. General, get there. Let's go. You guys get in again. You are trash. You are so trash. You're only good for pursuing enemies, really, aren't you, Spartan Cavalry? I'm sorry to see that. We need better cavalry options. <laughs> so we need to get cavalry as soon as we can. Oh, we broke them. They're fighting to the death, though. We don't want them to fight to the death. Get out. That was actually a decent charge. These guys are shaken now. Our men are now attacking. Yeah, that's one general dead. Right, you guys. I want you... Once we've taken those towers, I want you up the walls. Trying to shoot at these boys. If anything, we want them like here. And they might be able to shoot them. Yeah, kill these boys. Kill them all. Are they still fighting to the death? It's not much more annoying than that, is that? Right, you guys go as well. Right then. Infantry. Um, well, it's probably best coming this way, isn't it? You guys there as well. Cavalry. You guys are in pursuit, aren't you? Is anyone fully up on the walls yet? No. Cavalry, what are you doing? Go, go, go! Oh, they don't understand, do they? They don't understand that they're running through the walls. So we need to kind of... Yeah, kill them. Kill them all. Need to make sure we kill... There's still 43 of them. What are you doing? Kill them! How can you not kill them? Well, you could do with getting through here as quick as you can, bro. And it will stop them retreating that way. You get through there just, just quickly and then we'll nip back the other way. You guys... Um, you guys can get all the way around there. Be ideal. Yep, run over the walls. You guys uh, through this way. Right, Cretian archers. We want one of you here and one of you here. Right, now you're through there. Get there. This is going to be a bit of a race. Let's get you back up here. How many Theroporoi survived? 20 Greek archers. Only four Theroporoi and three Robian. So we don't, they don't actually have that many. And now they should get shot by the towers, which is great. <laughs> Fantastic. Now get around there. You'll probably beat them around there as well, which is also great. Right, archers, let's go, boys. Need you up there. Speed it up. This is a very nice army. Look at this. The Spartan boys ready to go. Very nice to see. Oop. Right, let's get you in. Don't want them to be too tired when they face that cavalry because that cavalry is very strong, as we've seen. Yeah, they beat them around here as well, so surely they're all dead. I think they are all dead, which is funny. <laughs> um, right. And I mean, I think there's only one way we can do this. It's just by going straight at them. We need those Cretans, though, up here. Look at those columns. The columns are forming, boys. First things first, I think we go for the Cryptia because we can retrain them a lot easier. It's two lines. Uh, all of you guys, I want you on guard mode. The Hominoi. Let's go for you guys here, ready to support. And you two guys, this side. And then the Generals. I'll get you here as well. Come on, archers. You take so long to get up the siege tower, don't you? 
Come on, boys. <laughs> Probably would have been quicker for you to just go through the gates at this point. Look at the Colossus in the background. What a beautiful battle map. And what a beautiful battle. Got to say. Yeah, it really doesn't matter about flanking here. They are just going to charge us. And what is their other unit? It's Pissy Loy. Yeah, we should beat the Pissy Loy quite handily. Get there. Masses of infantry for the boys. Let's go. Generals. Get there. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Look at this map. We are just surrounding the city. Very nice to see. This should be all we need. It depends on how strong his charge he gets off. Get there. Get there. These guys are tired now. Unfortunately. And generals. Get you up here as well. Archers, could you even fire from there? I don't think you'd be able to reach. You'd be able to reach if they were stood right on the edge, but it's not what it's all about, is it? Okay, they're firing their jabbies. We need to march nice and slowly. Well, not slowly. We need to march methodically. You guys here. Ah, whatever. Get there. Right, all you crypt here, we'll get you in a nice line. If we can. Get there, boys. Oh, here they come. Nope, 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 nope. You guys get through. Greek general, get you in there. This is just a grind fest against these guys. Those Javis are doing some damage. Serious damage, because these guys don't have armor. So maybe I should have thought of that. <laughs> Yeah, kill the general. He's hardly lost anyone. Go, go, go. Kill the general, boys. Right. Speed it up. It's just a grind fest now. You guys we don't want you on the guard mode. You guys get in. Mingle. Oh, those sounds are horrible. Oh, oh. Kill that general. He just got an experience, but he's going to be dead, so that doesn't matter. There's <laughs> just him left as well. The Pissy Loy are doing quite well. Come on, Pissy Loy. Die. There he is. Dead with his leopard skin thing. Looks like my general killed him. That's my general, isn't it? He killed him as well. Nice. They're stronger than you think on very hard, these guys. Jesus. Like, they should not be good. 18 defense, bro. Versus my Cryptia guys. 32. Like, ugh. Well then, that was alright though. 346, bro. Really? 346? That is an obscene amount you killed. Oh well, that was mainly the general though. Mainly that bastard general, my friends. What a bastard. But Rhodes is now ours. We've killed those two that remaining army, so that won't be a rebel, which is great. Um I I'm pretty sure Rhodes don't have anything else, so. All roads lead to roads. And I wonder what the Colossus does in the mod. Whether it's changed. Because the Statue of Zeus wasn't changed, was it? It was plus four. Um, plus four loyalty. Is it to all settlements or just to Greek? I can't remember. I think it's... Is it just Greek? Maybe just Greek. Or maybe all. I think it's all, actually. The big Statue of Zeus. And now we have the Colossus. Fantastic. Very nice to see. We are really expanding. Not incredibly quickly, but pretty decently compared to if you look at a lot of the other factions. 
Um, and all of it's leading to a big standoff with the Antigonids. A big face-off. Um, and then, hopefully, once we've defeated them, the Romans. But we shall see. First things first is to defeat our smaller enemies around Greece. I'm not sure who I want to go for next, though. We could do with a spy, really. A spy died, didn't he? Yeah, could really do with a spy somewhere. If we could recruit a spy, I think the best place would be the northern settlement. I can't remember what it's called. Um... Yeah, best place would be the Northern Settlement. Right, Rhodes, I think we enslaved to try and get our population growth going. Naval trade by 40. Oh my god, look at that instant amount of money. That is mad. And let's have a look at Sparta again. So Sparta is going to be on uh, 680, say. But once this is done, we want to check that that's, no longer, that that's more than 680. So Megalopolis has expanded. Wow, fantastic. This is great. And Rhodes is destroyed. Arias gets an exotic slave, which is plus one influence. Minus one hit points, though, which is not great. Um, how close are some of you guys to expanding? We definitely gave a lot of, <laughs> a lot of people to some of these settlements from that, which is great. Because we need as many cities as we can get. Luckily, Rhodes is a minor city, which is great. And um, we want to destroy his strategy because we cannot recruit anything. We can recruit a spy here, though. Retrain you boys. And a merchant. Not that we really want one. Um, but yeah, let's destroy that. What else has he got? He's got a lot of he's got a lot of temples. Artemis. And Zeus. Civic construction cost. And time, wow, five percent—that's pretty decent. And he's got a good, um, a good port here as well with uh, Byreme and Trireme available. But let's get rid of that. I think first thing first for us is to take the conquered land occupation, so we can start retraining some of the Kyria or whatever they're called. Can we? Get a spy here. We can. So I want to see what Epirus is doing. That's quite important to us right now. Ships will get you across the roads. Once these guys are retrained and we're happy, we probably will go and leave a mercenary regiment behind. Go for another retraining and go after Athens, I guess. I just don't want to be in the way of the Boeotian League because look at this. Look at this. Look at these armies, bro. Hopefully the Antigonids deal with them. But yeah, cool. Well, I'm glad we've taken Rhodes anyway. Slightly scary that we are now bordering the Egyptians. Um, yeah. <laughs> Temple of Artemis. 30% for religious buildings. Oh, well. Right. Let us end the turn again then, boys. Ah, oh, look, a rebel. Why would you go there? That's annoying. I think that might be a Rhodian army. That has spawned in. I hope you don't attack my land. You're making devastation already. But at least it's not on the trade routes. <laughs> yeah, Northern Greece is quite a defensible position. So once we've taken that from the Antigonids, we probably don't need to worry about the Adrisians too much. And we can focus our efforts on Rome. Roma! So retraining these boys, what's that done? Oh, just giving them better missiles. Merge you. Get everyone off apart from you. Ah, you d why? Every time, bro. Every time. Is it something I'm doing? Is it a control I'm pressing or something? Get you guys back to Sparta. We can't get you off the boats yet, but that's fine. Um, so, we have you guys there. We've got you guys there. Cool. Alliance between Bactria and the Ptolemaics. That's okay for us because that's probably anti-Seleucia, honestly. Didn't construct anything then. Still have a decent amount of money and we're making a lot of money now. So we can really afford to start pumping these troops out. And the Skiritai are supposed to be better than the Hoplitai, right? Oh, they are. They just... Well, they have less... Hmm. Less defense... Less defense, 
but quite a bit more morale and one more melee attack. So they're okay. They won't do as much damage as the Hoplitae. They'll take more damage than the Hoplitae, but they'll stay in the fight longer. But we haven't really been having a problem. So we'll recruit one more of those. One more of those. Try and flesh our armies out slightly and get... Oh, hello, Adresians. You be naughty, Adresians. Oh my god, look at that Athenian army as well. Good lord. Yeah, the Adresians are coming for us, quite clearly. So we should really try and get on that and get rid of them. Hmm. Sorry, the, not the Adresians, the Boeotian League. Oh, look at that rebel fleet, bro. That is really strong. 120 for the pirate ships. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Well, I don't know why are we building that here. What What a stupid decision. We're already gone back to Sparta. Sparta's close enough for us to retrain that. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Right, you, my friend, keep coming. And who are you? Your uh, uh, Carthage. Oh, well. Right, let us end the turn and probably watch the Boeotians attack us. They have some very large armies. It's going to be a drawn-out war if we if it comes down to it. Same with Athens. They have a very large army there. Very, very big army indeed. Hmm. Not too happy with that. And their cavalry has been pretty... Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Really? Rebels, you pricks. Right, well, who can we afford to leave, but leave behind? I think we'll take Mausolos because he can get some some nice experience from this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, you guys, we'll get you off, but we'll put some bad guys back on. Some of these bigger units, Cretans, Mausolos, and you, and we'll come back across. Oh, come on, boys! <laughs> How? How is this happening every time? Get you off, and you can attack. You guys, so the Boeotians are just standing there. They didn't really do anything that turn. You guys can get all get retrained, and we'll recruit one of you. So, one more turn for that to be done. And, yeah, so, for, so it's going to be about 600, it's saying, that it's going to increase it by. Probably, yeah, probably reduced by the besiegement of there. Agent found Athens. Oh, so we got a spy as well. We need to get that what that guy going. You can't move far, can you, spy? Let's go have a look at Epirus. Larissa is under the control of the Aetolian League. So a bit of change going on. The Antigonids slightly on the ropes. They've been knocked out of this whole area completely. Hmm, that's not good for us, seeing as they're our ally. And the Boeotians are looking thirsty and hungry for battle. Right, we'll go for you. Ooh, yeah, two of those cavalry units. Well, we'll fight the battle. And we've got the 17 troops of Captain Damaratos coming in as well. <laughs> not that useful, not going to lie. But this should be the last battle of the episode, guys, I'd probably say. Looking at the time. Looking at the timer. But it should be a good one. A nice little skirmish. It's 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 sometimes nice to have these smaller battles as well. It's quite relaxing compared to the larger ones. Where you're rushing around like a headless chicken trying to micro your way out of everything. <laughs> Having just a few units to focus on is always nice. But yeah, hopefully it'll be good. I don't know the rebel spawning system in the mod. Because in the... In um, vanilla, they they will spawn in every settlement. There's a, there's a certain amount of rebels that have to be present on the map all time. Oh, let's listen. So we're the sons of Hercules, Achilles, and Zeus. What boys? The Spartan boys, ready to go. Just worried about that cavalry. 
And I'm hoping we can get a few shots in before they uh, decide to... Oh, they're coming straight for us. Are they? Or are they waiting? If we can get there like on this nice little bit of uphill, that'd be nice. Stop them having any downward momentum. Now, now we can start shooting. Why are you slightly in front of everyone? You guys will get you on guard mode again because you fight better on guard mode, it seems. Shoot them in the back. Quick, quick, quick. These guys actually look really cool. We didn't look at these guys before. Zisto Foroi. They look very similar to our Spartan cavalry in the fact that they don't have armor, but they did do quite a bit of damage before. Oh, no. They come back. Here they come. Come on, boys. Get ready to go. They don't fire Javis. They just charge. Oh, no. They're going for the general. Right, you guys forward and get them in the back. Cretans. Right. Now it's time to shoot those cavalry. You guys there, you guys get forward. Let's go. Time looks like the cavalry's coming in. Got more cavalry back there, which is slightly scary. We've got like a double sandwich here. They've sandwiched us and now we're gonna sandwich them. Oh my god, they're absolutely getting shredded. Same as the Rodians. Dumb boys, get a rally out. Right, you boys. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. Right, Cretans, let's get you up here, if you can. Get them. Come on, boys. They're now shaken. Right, boys, you're going to have to deal with those cavalry units. Cretans, let's go. Shoot them. Speed it up. Yep, now they're running. Right, you boys, let's go. Probably can even do... Well, and uh, let's not do a fatter formation, just in case... That if they charge one in the fat formation, they can catch a couple of units, can't they? So here they go. Make sure you take the charge well, boys. That's your job. You are spearmen. Oh, go, go, go. Right, you guys get round. Time to go. Yep. Come on, boys. Oh, they've routed straight away. The only person left is the Rodians. They're wavering. I'm just seeing... I'm just watching the map to see whether any of those cav units come back, but I don't think they will. They're only shaken. I don't want to make them fight to the death. That's the one problem with sending someone else in there to deal with them. They last a long time, these hoplites in, in battle, don't they? Very long time indeed. Good thing with rebels is we only need to beat them. There we are, fantastic. 203, that's the best ratio we've probably had so far. Yeah, 69, nice. Fantastic. Well done, my Spartan boys, once again. Fantastic to see. Now we need to get them back across <laughs> to retrain. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. I see you know your judo well. Ah, oh, yes. Well, let's get them back across as quick as we can. And get ready for the Boeotians. Because they look bitty, bitty, bitty scary. Little bitty scary. And we might need to upgrade our military buildings to deal with them, honestly. Have some better troops. And that is why I am uh, getting the... Uh, Spartan Hoplites, the Hominoi. They are a very good unit. A lot. Well, the Crypti are good. They're just so vulnerable to missiles that as soon as any javelins hit them, they're just dead. So, going forward, we should definitely recruit some troops with better armor. 100%. Heavier, heavier boys. Big Chunguses ready to go. Big Chungus, let's go. So, yeah, we should definitely go for that. 
Loading screen, taking a while. Oh well. Um, but yeah, uh, so the plan going forward will be to sort of upgrade our army slightly. Hopefully, you know, all these settlements we're taking from now on will enslave so that we get that population growth from slavery in all our settlements. Um, and hopefully get up to a large city at Sparta very soon. That would be ideal. Um, oh, there we are. Just loaded straight back. All right, you need to go back this turn. Trait increase. Graduated for Akratatos, Potatoes, Akratatos, very nice, Eudaminas, Eudamidas, sorry, I always pronounce that wrong, and Mausolos, very nice. Got to try and remember these names. It's not like Third Age where they're characters that you recognize and know a lot about. Ah, so what should we build? We built the militia barracks over here. Think we go for the market because our trade should be pretty decent right now. Yeah, it is very nice indeed, in fact. And then Megalopolis upgraded. So first things first is definitely a port. And then Argos got that. What is cheap? I mean, the temples are very cheap. Well, if we're going to make it a recruitment hub around here, let's go for Dimos and Phobos to start with. And then Rhodes, let's go for the sewers. Sparta, when will you become larger? It's going to take a while. Oh, unfortunate. Did we retrain everyone here? Yeah, that's where most of our money went this turn. Okay, cool. Well, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. Next episode, we'll retrain this army and we'll see what the Boeotians do. If they want to split up their armies and go separately for these two settlements, that is perfect for us because them dividing and conquering is not ideal for them. This Athenian army is still very scary. So we still need to upgrade some of these troops, like we can see. Uh, in fact, some of their armor and everything as well would be very decent to upgrade. Uh, we just need to get to large cities so we can start getting better cavalry. Because, you know, our cavalry is not ideal. So, yeah, it doesn't tell us there, does it? Um, so we've got this. We've got the same level. for. We've got a large city level, basically. Um, and the cavalry we can get next. Oh, we can't actually get cavalry. What are these? Lithobololi. Whoa, what the hell are those? They look awesome. Well, we might get some of those, guys. They look pretty cool. Well then, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do like, please do subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next video.